G'day guys, M Tim here. Today we're going to learn about the Alembic processes within Octane Render version 3. Now, this has been around since Octane 1.5, I believe, um, but I didn't get enough time to do a proper in-depth tutorial on it. Since most people are running into small hiccups here and there on how it all works, uh, I'll be showing you the uh, how to do it within Octane Render itself, the setup processes, and I'll also be showing you how to set it up within Maya, since that'll be the program I'll be using. If you're using any other program, um, I'm, I'm sure there's uh, the exact, not the exact same, but the same processes involved with it. Uh, first, I'll be showing you the uh, overview within Maya. So, this is the current sync. Uh, there's three ways to do this. There's the still method. So all your objects are still, but you have the camera moving. There's the camera moving and the whole scene um, in the ABC file. And then there's the whole scene for compositing. These are three way that these are the three ways that I've come across uh, when dealing with this um, uh, technique within Octane to render out all your animations. Uh, they can have your different uses um, for previous stuff for still and camera, uh, camera and whole scene just to chuck something out, and for the whole scene and compositing to put everything into different object layers different placements so you can move stuff around if you wanted to and filling it all into a object group. So, um, and I also connected a daylight to it. So let's check this out. So the first one is the still camera. The still camera is the monkey with the camera going just crazy. Uh, camera and whole scene. This is the camera separate and the whole scene, so the plane and the monkey all in together. Um, I didn't attach any materials to it, but you can do that. That's just going crazy. And the compositing, the whole scene with the compositing. And this is the floor and monkey uh, with its own object layer, so you can do your render layer, your render groups, your color for it, so you can do your placement, you can move everything around, and you can all render it out into separate render layers. So, how do we do this? Simple. Let's go to Maya. Um, I, won't, I'll, I have everything set up now, however, I can tell you uh, just a brief uh, rundown on some do's and don'ts. For the still stuff, uh, render out all your objects into the standard OBJ, if you want to do it as a whole group, you can. If you want to do it separately, you can. Um, the whole point of having a still mesh and a camera work is to have the mesh still and the camera moving. In terms of the camera, um, for every single scenario that I've shown you, the camera has to be exported separately. And the process to do that is to highlight the camera, go to pipeline cache, alembic, and then go to export selection. Make sure, now this is very important because I had trouble, had trouble with this a lot. When you press export, do not have the time slider in a negative value. It will not work, Octane will not pick it up. If you go to start to end and it's negative one, it will not work at all. It will just be a still image. And that's for everything, not only the camera, but also every other object. If you want to do the compositing, you're going to have to export each separate object, Alembic file, by itself. Um, the exact same process as the camera and with no negative values for the compositing. Now, you can uh, render out... What I've noticed before was that when I was uh, animating um, a group, and I put objects in the group and they had their own animation files, you're going to have a very hard time to render it out separately for your compositing. Because um, unless you somehow bake it or cache it, um, you cannot have those individual pieces animating by itself because it's out of its parent group. 
and the Octane Render and the ABC file will only recognize the standalone animation for each object. Um, but if you want to render in whole, it can render it out perfectly for you. So it's, uh, in brief, it's a simple process of either selecting the camera, selecting individual pieces, or selecting the whole objects, going to pipeline, cache, alembic, export selection, or export all. Once you have those files sorted, we can then upload the files or import the files. First, let's look at the still and camera. The first thing to do is to put an environment in, since we want to see the environments for everything. So let's chuck in a daylight, chuck that into the environment hub, since everything will be turning black. Um, and next is to import a camera, the ABC file. So, in order to import Alembic files, you go to right click, geometry, and scene. From there, go to your separate camera ABC file and import it. You can also click on camera, create camera inputs, or load object layers. We'll get to that soon. And just press OK. Once that's done, connect the camera uh, input to the camera setting in the render target. And while you're at it, you can also put them to the others. So now, once you import it, uh, a timeline should appear. You should be able to scroll up through it. If there's no camera, if there's no timeline there, you have a negative value in your animation exporting and you have to change it and you can chuck on a material on the monkey if you want I will just leave it for now next the whole scene so in this whole scene you've exported every object um, in your scene to so just have a quick rundown uh, you're not looking forward to the compositing you just want to com uh, preview it all we have to do is do the same process geometry scene Go to your whole scene and go to your monkey scene and plug that into the geometry. And it's virtually the same as the still and camera. However, it's a our ABC scene and all the data is in it. Uh, next is the whole scene for compositing. As you can see, I've already made the compositing node graph for it with the floor OBJ, since there's no animation on it, it could be an ABC, but since there's no animation, I just made it a OBJ with its own object layer, object layer map map, placement for it, group object, and another placement for the moving monkey. So let's go on to this scene. As you can see, the camera and the plane is on it, but there's no monkey, so that's important. Go to Geometry, Scene, go to the monkey. Now, before you click OK, go to Load Object Layers. Why you will do this is because if you get the object layer map and plug in the monkey ABC file in it, it will not bring up the pinpoint for the object layer. For this, however, you can. So copy the object layer, Place to control B, place into the object, and then place the monkey within the geometry placement. So now if I want to move it. Now as you can see, uh, motion blur is automatically assigned to it, as you can see here. So you don't have to worry about that. And everything is in its own separate render object layer. So if we go to render layer 1, go to the render layers, enable. As you can see, the floor's on one and the monkey's on the other. There we go. So all ABC, all animated in its own separate render layer, available or visible or not visible, all ready for Nuke or Fusion. So hopefully this helps you with your animations, compositing and Octane Render knowledge. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.